Hi guys, we're making a real quick video here. This is mainly just to answer questions I've had lately about people asking if I have enough ball screws. So, of course, I have to bring out my one favorite ball screw, my Stein Meyer ground ball screw. This is a 22 millimeter German screw, which I think it sells, it's a brand new screw. It's a uh, C3, and I think it sells for $1,300 new. It's a really nice screw, but that's not really what this video is about. Um, a lot of people are asking if I have inventory for the other ball screws, which would be the PM25, the G704, the uh, PM30, and the PM940. I make all those kits, and I do have ball screws. If uh, I got a lot of them laid out here. All these screws are uh, uh, ones that I'm working on right now. And so these are all 704 screws. And then if you go a little bit farther over here, well, these are mixed. It's a 704 and PM25. These are PM25. I got some uh, sheet pans, some drip pans that I'm working on. And then over here, we have some PM30 and PM25 screws. And I got a bunch more PM25 screws. Some of those have to get ball nuts put on them. Some of those I do myself. Some of them come in that way. And then we have a bunch more. Those are Y screws for the uh, PM940 and the uh, PM30. So that metal thing it's sitting on, that's going to be the stand for the PM25, PM30. I'm going to make a universal stand for those and then over here we have some uh, these are the 20 the 25 and that one big one right there is the 32 millimeter and those are for the PM 940 so the, I'm going to take a look at the uh, I like the I offer a heavy duty Z for the uh, let's see if we can get it right here this is the heavy duty Z for the PM940. It's a 32 millimeter screw. It's like just massive. So that's a kind of an extra part if somebody wants one. So just, I'm gonna put it next to the, so this is the 32 millimeter C7 screw for the heavy duty Z and just for comparison this is your 16 millimeter screw for the G704 so you can kind of get an idea of just how much bigger it is it's kind of a monster screw but it's nice really for uh, people that don't want to use uh, lifting springs on the larger mills this thing works quite nice So for the uh, for all the kits, I have screws for everything right now. I'm not out of anything. I'm a, I'd like to have some more uh, 940 stuff on stock, but right now Matt is out of PM 940 mills, so I'm not in a big rush to get new screws. But I'm sure he'll get new ones in soon. So yeah, guys, right now I have a pretty good selection of ball screws. Technically speaking, I generally carry more than this. I got another uh, two batches on the way. They'll be here fairly soon. So yeah, if you guys are thinking about a PM25 or the PM30, I have plenty of ball screws. So unfortunately, I'm not selling this Steinmeiser German screw. That's going to go on some machine as soon as I, whenever I get extra time. So and every one of these ball screws is going to get what I do to every screw which is I'm going to separate them and reset the preload so they have no backlash. I do that on every single screw. So every one of these screws here before they get sold is going to get reworked, checked for straightness, cleaned, and then have the preload reset on the double nuts. And I do that to every screw. I'm really the only person that does that. And it's possible to get less than one thousandths backlash out of these screws most of the time. You gotta add up all the backlash as a system as far as 
uh, you have your backlash from your ball nuts, your end bearings, flexing the mounts, and all that kind of stuff. But it's pretty easy for these systems that I build to stay under, you know, one and a half thou sometimes. You can even get down below that sometimes. Um, I've heard people get like 0 0.6 and 0 0.7, or sorry, 0 0.00s, seven tenths and six tenths of a thousandths backlash sometimes. So that's it, guys. I just want to say I got plenty of uh, ball screws for all of the kits that Precision Matthews makes, plus I do the G704. So yeah, there's no problem. The uh, uh, virus is not slowing down the uh, imports anymore. It was for a while, but I had already had orders in previously. So that's it, guys. Thanks.